Thousands of young people have been at the National Exhibition Centre today for the UK's biggest skills and careers event. Unemployment may be falling and the economy is growing again, but there's still concern about having enough people with the right skills. Our business correspondent Peter Plisman reports. Descending on the NEC for an event that could shape their future, thousands of young people from all over the region. Inside, it was a chance to try out everything from plastering to programming. You hold it on the top there. And from bricklaying to broadcasting. Hundreds of different careers and for many, a have a go heaven. And there's certainly no lack of volunteers. Nearly 100,000 young people are expected to visit the show, which this year is bigger and better than ever before, now filling four halls here at the NEC. These sixth formers from Birmingham's Heartlands Academy were keen to find out more about careers with the NHS. But what were their expectations about how much they'd earn? So what do you think about the salary for a nurse? I think it's probably about 40000 to 50000 per year. I think it's that same thing. Oh my God, that's less. I know. I thought that I got a lot more. And boys from the same school were here too. Would they fare any better? What do you think the uh, average salary of a bus driver is? Uh, I'm going to have a guess at 20k annually. Not bad. I'm getting a bit more, you see. Someone who probably earns substantially more than that is BBC Dragon Theo Pofitas. He's been a patron of the show since it started three years ago. We need to make sure our kids understand what's available for them. There's a skill shortage in this country. Make sure we inspire people to go into the right areas and careers that they're going to have passion about. And this man certainly has a passion for politics. Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg at the show to highlight a big increase in apprenticeships. It's a great way of making sure that your son or daughter can become... Uh, you know, an engineer, take up qualifications which will allow them to, to to earn well and particularly fill a lot of jobs at the moment that aren't being filled in the British economy precisely because we don't have the youngsters with the right skills. But hopefully that's where events like this can help, guiding young people through the right doorway to their future. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today at The Skills Show.